Hello and good day everyone. Welcome to another tutorial by Smart View Kites. And in today's tutorial, we are going to talk about the structure of crystalline solids. Before then, kindly subscribe to this channel and then come back and continue watching the video. In today's video, what we are told to find is to calculate the volume of an FCC, that is first centered cubic crystalline, in terms of atomic radius, which is R. Then we are told to find the atomic piking factor of first centered cubic crystalline solids. Okay, we all know that the FCC, that's the first centered cubic, have atomic cubes at the all edges of the cube. Then there's another one at each face, that at this face. Uh, there's one atom cube at the other face. There's one another atom of cube at this face. There's and at this face there is. To understand it more, see this picture. In this picture, they only show the part of the atoms that contributed to the cube. That's the unit cell of the FCC cube. We can see that at each face, there's the atoms that contributed to the face at the edges, and there's the one that contribute at the face of the cube. So for the first question we are told to find the volume of the fcc unit in terms of the atomic radius of that unit to do that let's take one face of the cube if we take this face of the cube we know that some part of the atom contributed to this past another contributed here another contributed here and another full atom at the center of the face that is at the each piece there's one atom at the face that is that is why it's called first centered cubic so to determine the volume let's call the length from here to here a and the length from here to here also a that is its uh, cube it have the same length all over and we know that for this cycle or if if we take this as a cycle the half of it is r which is the radius so this is half of a cycle this also is half of a cycle this also and this also so here we have r here we also have r and for this cycle we have r for this half and r for that half so the length here altogether is going to be because they are going to touch each other the radius of the part of the lower part of this atom and that of the upper part then plus the two radius of the full atom in between that is this part is going to be 4r it's going to be something like this a a and for this part it's going to be 4r to understand more let's take you back to the diagram i showed earlier for you to see it clearly can you see it here we have 1r here we also have another r here 2r here 2r which makes the length here 4r so we are told to determine the volume of the unit cell that's that cube in terms of r so for that if we consider this uh, triangle let's use pythagoras theorem which says c square is equal to a squared plus b squared we know that c is the hypotenuse so in this our triangle we are going to say 4r squared is equal to a squared plus a squared that will give me that 2a squared is equal to 4r all squared solving further a will give me 2r root 2 this is the value of a in terms of r and what and we all know that the volume of cube volume of cube is equal to a cube a times a times a so we have our a in terms of r to be 2 r root 2 so therefore b volume of the cube for the fcc will now be 2 r root 2 power 3 which will give you 16 r cube root 2 so this is the volume of an fcc unit cell then the second part of the question, we are told to find the atomic packing factor of the FCC. So for every crystalline structure with FCC, there is a number that shows how packed the atoms are together in that unit cell. So the atomic packing factor, which is APF, is known with a formula of volume of atoms in a unit cell. That's the volume of atoms in unit cell over the vol total unit volume of the unit cell total unit volume 
total unit cell volume which is the volume of the cube we just find earlier that this denominator of this equation so what is the volume of the atoms in unit cell we can realize that the atoms are shown in the diagrams in form of sphere they are spherical so what is the volume of a sphere we know that volume of a sphere is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cube since r is our radius here so we can now introduce this volume of the sphere as the volume of the atom but we are told the volume of the atoms in the unit oh. cell so now we have to consider how many total atoms are completely in that unit cell of the fcc let's take a look at the diagram again so here is the diagram and from this diagram we can we are going to calculate the total number of atoms in this cube we can see that here at the face this one i just marked it's a half spare so that's half of an atom and we know that a cube have six faces so for the half of spare of each face totally you will have three atoms for all the faces and here the one that contributed at the edge here we can see that it's one over eight of a sphere if you look at it and understand it you will see that it's one over eight of a sphere and if you look at the cube well you'll see that the cube have eight edges so therefore one over eight times eight is going to be one which show us that the total atoms in this cube is four atoms four atoms so back to our atomic packing factor which we are told is the volume of atoms in unit cell over the total volume of the cell and we are told that the volume of a sphere that the volume of atom is 4 over 3 pi r cube so therefore the atomic packing factor is going to be the number of atoms first that is we have four atoms times the uh, uh, volume of a sphere that's the volume of the atom 4 over 3 pi r cube then the total volume of the cell which is 16 r cube root 2 which we just find earlier so calculating everything here you can see that so calculating everything here we will have 16 over 3 pi r cube all over 16 times root 2 r cube therefore r cube will go with r cube and calculating it well you'll see that the atomic packing factor is 0 0.74 that means the atoms are 74 percent packed in the unit cube which shows that the voids are only 26 percent i hope you enjoyed this video and in case of any question kindly drop it in the comment section don't forget to subscribe like share and comment see you in our next video